is the uh, pose. Speak louder. Pose. No negative. No. Are you sure? Yes. But he has negative in his own. But cause is a negative. Say that again. But cause is a negative. Cause is a negative. I'm just trying to confuse you. That's what I love to do. Confuse people. Okay. Yes. Uh, 360 minus, 360 minus 330. Perfect. And that is going to be cos 60, which is equal to 1 over 2. Wait. Oh, I'm at, It's my birthday, okay? I'm allowed to make mistakes. <laughs> and that should be 3 over 2. Okay? So this is this is how we convert in between quadrants. Can, I, can you please focus on question 6 now? The rest of your question 6. Okay, use this to focus on that. Then also, I need you to complete the number seven. Yeah, yeah, complete the number seven also. Everybody, five minutes, question six. Five minutes only. You can bring this to class. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Please make sure you say you without use use of calculator, right? Uh, for okay, question seven. seven. Oh, okay, okay. okay. That's right, cheating. Oh yeah, I was cheating. I did all the questions the calculator. <laughs> exam to not be awarded. Look, guys, I take question 6A as an example. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, for C, what did I do negative? What? Like, okay, for C I got negative, but it's not supposed to be negative. You might get negative. But it's positive. Okay, please hold on. What, uh, A part of the question, what does it say? Can I, can I have your paper, sir? That question says, 
find sine 137, you have been given sine 43 to be approximately 0 0.6820, and you have to find sine 137. And many of you just simply went straight to the answer is this. There is no communication here. I haven't seen what you did. How do I even know that you have not used calculator if you cannot show me one or two steps? Okay? It's better we do more than we do less. You get my point? So, what do you think you should have shown? Uh, equals to sine sin 180, 180 Good. minus 43. What minus 43? Sorry, my bad. And which is? Sine 43. 43. Because sine 43 has been given, so it makes sense when you say, oh, this is exactly this. This is how you can justify your solution. All right? But many of you just start from here, you went straight to here. This is your proof that you did not use calculator. Because the instruction was clear without the use of calculator. That's the only proof you have. But you just write from the beginning to the end. You could have just nicked the calculator in. OK? And the purpose of saying without the use of calculator is to test that you have mastered these skills. Do you know how to convert within quadrant? That's the whole idea. Understand, everyone? So please, let's learn to show some stuff. Um, then if you have to go the other way around, cos 156 is negative, right? So, your cos 24, so let me see. Somebody said cos 24 is equal to cos 180 minus that. Okay, did you put minus in front of this? No, no. Cos 24, is it minus? Or you put your minus here? You put in both. Okay. So, your cos 24 could be done this way, the last one. In the last one, you were given cos 156, yeah? Yes. To be minus, approximately, of course. Uh, minus 0 0.91. Is this what Carolina is talking about? Yes. So, but it's negative, so what's the problem? Because uh, sign, this is second quadrant, right? Yeah. So, so then you should be worried if I didn't put negative here. Yeah. Where did you like a negative part? Could it be a positive number? Say that again? Okay, like, wouldn't it be like a negative? Cos, the cosine is like, it's like negative. This is the negative cos is used in what quadrant? Seven. But this is the second. Yeah, yeah, but like it doesn't, if you, if you like use it here. Don't use like, calculator. Uh, no, no, because also like C, C is the same thing. I know. It's, but it's positive, it gives you a positive number. Like, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not okay, C, in the case of C, you were given the acute angle. In the case of D, you are looking for the acute angle. So it's not the same. You can't compare them. S find cos 143. That's C. In the case of D, find what? I did the same quadrant. So you can't compare them. If you compare B and D, then maybe I understand the problem. But you can't compare them. There's nothing wrong with that question. That's what I'm about to do. Okay. All you have to do is give me time. Okay. Now, this is given already. Yeah? yeah? This must have been as a result of some conversion that was done. So in this case, I'm not going to start with cos 43. Is it 43? 24. In this case, this is not the place to start. Hello? Yes. So if I want to show my workings, I'm not going to start from here. In this case, I'm starting from that angle that I'm looking for because it's obtuse, and I have learned how to convert obtuse back to acute. Are you with me? Yeah. But here, the obtuse has been given. So I'm going to do a reverse process. What do I mean by that? I'm going to start from the same problem. Yes? And this, no. So let's say left and right side now. Okay? So maybe my uh, mistake was to put cos 24 is equal to directly. 
that might have confused you. So you are welcome to cancel that, as well as cause 56, cause 59, in number B. Just listen first. So the best thing would have been to start from this problem. Convert your left hand side. Continue to write the right hand side. Okay? Let's write that in two colors so that you can see the flow of my logic. My left hand side is cos 156. It is equivalent to. Tell me the number on the right quickly. Negative 0.9135. Okay? I'm going to continue to write my negative 0 0.9135. While I try to simplify what this is according to the second quadrant. So this would be cos what? Cause. It's not cos. I missed something and you're just repeating Negative. my error. Cause. Negative. Thank you, sir. So my left hand side becomes what? Negative cos cos 24. If negative cos 24 is negative this, what is cos 24? Cos 0, 0 0.9135. So that's how to show it. I hope Carolina is no longer confused. So there's nothing wrong with the question. The question is perfect, all right? But B and D, please follow this approach to justify your step. You can't convert acute. Acute is the destination. Understand? You can only convert your obtuse and your reflex. OK? So if acute is what you are looking for, you are not going to start from, you are not like the heart. Acute is given here. So yes, you can convert this, get the acute substitute. But in this case, the acute is what you are looking for, not what you are given. So there are two different uh, style of question here. Just convert the left hand side of this until that acute can be seen. Understand? So please amend your solution and make it look like that. You are welcome to cancel cost 24 that I typed in your worksheet. Please cancel that. I think that was uh, really confusing. Negative cost 24 equals negative and then you put here a positive cos 24 equals to negative. And you put here both positive. This one? Yeah. What is the problem with this? The question said positive cos 24. That's what we are looking negative. for. No, equals to negative 9 point. No, that one. Point. This equals to the, 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 the back part equals to the negative. We'll find the this is if. Part this is if. Relationship between find this. If this, this is find this, find this. This is what I'm asking you to find. Find cos 24. Yes. Okay. Yes. If this is the given part. Okay. Okay. Understand? Yeah. Uh, just like here. Find sine 137. Hello. Yeah. Find. This is what you are trying to find. Yes. This is what you are given. So you need to know what is given and what is required. Okay. So sometimes. You can use your find path directly. Mm -hmm. Here now, find the non-acute. We can go directly from here. But in the other case, you are trying to find the acute, given the non-acute. So you begin with the non-acute. Okay. You can never begin with acute. So even if the, the, uh, the non-acute is to be found, you begin from there. If the non acute is given, you begin from there. Okay? okay? Yeah. Any other confusion here? I have a question. Yes, sir. So, for my question, see, I'm pretty sure that this is correct. Right. Yeah, this is okay. Conversion, conversion, conversion. Yeah. That's true, your mind is very well. It looks like dots. Yes, what else? Okay. But yeah. if I know I'm not supposed to use a calculator, but when I put this into my calculator, it costs 1.4 Because the calculator is in radian. My bad. 
Is that a problem, Miss? So this was negative. So if it doesn't look like that, I don't want it. I just told you what I want. Stop trying to trick me to get something else. You did the same yesterday, Alex. Follow what you're asked to do. Stop saying, oh, maybe this one is also correct. No. There's a reason I want this. I want the explanation. So uh, there, is a, uh, there is a way to remember which quadrant, which is positive. In my secondary school days, we just say all students take coffee. OK? I'm talking to the old class. This means all are positive. Only sign is positive. Only, only tan is positive here. And only cos is positive here. The summary of the signs. OK? So I, we just say all student take coffee, or all student take coke. I think in your book, they use the acronym, they use uh, something like tattoo crawl or something like that. All silly tattoo crawl. <laughs> That's what the author use. But we just say all student take coffee. All student take coffee, like all are positive here. Only sign is positive, only tan is positive, only cause is positive. Okay, just to remember. So that when you are converting, you know that, oh, this is second quadrant. All students, okay, sign is positive, you know it is positive, something like that. Understand? And the butterfly shape will tell you which, how to subtract. Look, if you look here, for the, sorry, for the first quadrant, you don't have any issue, right? For the second quadrant, this is what you are looking for. If you just make it look like a butterfly. So to look for this, if you are coming all the way from the beginning, it's 180 minus your journey so far. Okay, Joey, can you make sure we have this? So please listen, just a summary of what we have been talking about. You need two things. The all student take coffee, yeah? To know if you are dealing with positive or negative anytime you are above the first quadrant, okay? Now to convert back to the equivalent, remember your butterfly shape. For the first quadrant, you don't have an issue. For the second quadrant, you are considering this part, which means we have covered certain distance. What you are looking for is just what is left of 180, right? So it's going to be, oh, 180 minus your distance covered so far. Your third quadrant is here. This is the acute region you are considering. So this region is just the gap between your journey. Now you have passed 180 by a particular acute angle, OK? So the extra is going to be what you have minus that 180 that you have just passed. OK? And similarly, you have covered up to here. Oh, you are just a little distance away from 360. And that is why that will be 360 minus theta. So you need to remember this. Yes, sir, your question. I need to quickly do this also. Yeah, okay, okay. Let me see what is it Okay, so let's quickly look at this because of our time. We have like 30 minutes to go. Please. For angle 45 degrees or pi over 4. Guys, you need to wrap that up quickly.
I have everyone's attention, please? If my OP has moved through an angle of 45 degree or pi over 4, so this is my 45 degree, okay? What can you say about the coordinate of P? Anyone? Yes. Cot 45, sin 45. I just said mm -hmm, for the cos, and you are still going on with oh, the sign. Okay. In terms of A and B. If I move through an angle of 45, what can you see? Yes. A and B are? Why? Did you hear that? Yes. It is 45, this is also 45. So it's not just a right angle triangle, it's an isosceles right angle triangle. What's the problem? So it's an isosceles right angle triangle. So we can say this is AA. Just like our class is A. Instead of A and B. So it's just AA. So which means this is A and this is also A. Right? So let's see what happens if you use Pythagoras theorem. A squared plus A squared is equal to 1. Yes? So our 2a squared is equal to 1, a squared is equal to 1 over 2, then a is equal to root 1 over root 2, which is square root of 1 over 2, then you get 1 over root 2. Yes? Yes. Yes. So clearly, you can see that my sine 45 is what? 1 over root 2. 1 over root 2. Agree? Because it's going to be a over 1. And cos 45 is also the same thing. Right? Yes. A and A are the cos and sine originally. So this time around, both are the same. So sine 45, which is here, cos 45, which is here, each of them equals to this. Then what is tan 45? 1 over root 2. Oh, sorry. 1. Can you calm down, think before you say stuff, please? Again, what is tan 45? 1. Why is it 1, Ada? I need three seconds to speak. Why is it one? Jesse? Uh, because we're dividing the same. Say that again? Because both sides we divide by the same. You are dividing by the same thing. If you divide the same thing by itself, what do you get? One. That's all I want to hear from you. I don't want people to just go say the answer because your friend said it. You need to understand what you're saying. So when I ask you a question and you can't defend what you have just said, it shows you just pick what somebody has just said. Okay, so understand what you are saying. So, tan is always the division of sine over cos. And if sine over cos are the same, then tan is just going to be 1. Okay, so the summary of this is that, okay, sine 45 degree, or you can say sine pi over 4, is equal to 1 over root 2. Cos 45 degree, or we can say cos pi over 4, is equal to 1 over root 2. And tan 45 degree, or better still, tan pi over 4, is when you divide these two together and you get 1. That is pi over 4. Oh, Okay? Now, that's not all. I said, and they are multiple, yeah? You understand what I did? This is 45, what is this one? 45. Speak louder. 45. What is this? 45. What is this? 45. 45. So, we've broken it into 45. Which means, this point P1, gives a multiple of 45. If this is P2, it's a multiple of 45. P3 is a multiple of 45, and so on. 
we want to see how this unit circle can be used to get the answer at any time. All you need to do is this one. The rest, just common sense. Are you with me? Yeah. Now, I think we know the coordinate of some of the points already. Yeah. What is the coordinate of P2? Zero, one, zero. zero. One. Let's go to P4. Negative, Negative one. Zero. one, zero. Zero. Negative one. Zero. Is everybody getting this or just a few people talking? Okay, let's, uh, let me label the coordinates in black. So P2, zero, one. P4, negative one, zero. Yes? Yes. Okay, so this is P5, P6. P6 is what? I'm considering the 90s first. All right? What is P6? Zero. 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 You see, it's not difficult because you just have to look at this and change the sign. You have done reflection. Apply your reflection skill. What is the transformation minus this when it, uh, in relation to f of x itself? What transformation maps this uh, f of x to this? Say that again. Reflection. Reflection, uh-huh. Along the x-axis. Along the x-axis. Right? <laughs> That's what is happening. So you are reflecting this along this the y value is to be changed. If you are reflecting along this axis, which, which one will be changed to negative? Yes, sir? Uh, the, the, the x axis, which is this one. So basically, this will be, maybe I call that p naught. Not p naught, but that. That would be what? One, one zero. zero. Because this is negative one, zero. Only the x will change. Hello? Yeah. All right. Then also, we can reflect this. We talked about this yesterday. Right? Mm -hmm. If you reflect this, which of them will change the sign? Oh. Say that again? Oh. Both. So as a result, our P5 will be what? Negative, negative, a. negative a, negative a. And our P7 will be what? Oh, we haven't done P3 yet. OK, wait, I'll show you something. And our P3, let's, let's start with P3. You see, P3 can be easily done because they are going to be on the same line, like that. Agree? So, and uh, let's see. If they are on the same line, it means their Y is the same. Yeah? yeah? If their Y is the same, that means this is A. Right? Yeah. Yes. Then the X also can easily be determined. What is that? Negative a. So this is just going to be negative a a, and the reflection will be what? A negative a. If you can understand what I've just said, in the exam, for even for solving equation, which is the next thing we are going to do, which is the, in the first lesson next time, or maybe the second part of next lesson. This is all you need to solve your equation within 0 and 360 degrees. This is all you need if it is related to multiples of 45. I'll give you an example. Now, this is going to be 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2. So clearly, this is minus 1 over root 2, minus 1 over root 2. Yeah? Yes. Now, the question says solve the equation between 0 and 360 sine theta is negative 1 over root 2. Sine is the y coordinate. Hello? Mm -hmm. yes, sir. So you are looking for where the y coordinate is negative. Yeah. And where is that? The bottom, three, four. The bottom here. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. So y coordinate is negative here, y coordinate is negative here. Which means you are looking for the angle when you start from the beginning that stops here and here. Can you see that? Yes. So just by looking at these two, we are going to label another diagram now, which I will put the angles in terms of pi. And that is all you need to know. You don't need your calculator. 
So if this is 45, yes, let's count together. 45? 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 